so bismillah ar rahman ar rahim so our today's topic is purchasing a pharmaceutical so in a hospital there so many things are fall under the definition of pharmaceuticals not drugs but other things are also to purchase in the hospital you have to purchase drug medicine surgicals disposable laboratory kits uh, equipments medical gases there so many things are to purchase in a big hospital so these are all having to, how you have to go going to purchase these things so we'll discuss about this so what uh, the definition of procurement if you go through the definition it says that it's an act of obtaining buying goods and services from external source means you have to purchase these things from outside you have to purchase from this city from other sources which ensure that buyer receives goods services at the best possible price so this is definitely procurement what is it you have to obtain you have to buy something from outside from the outside your premises from outside wherever in the market wherever to go so that is known as a procurement again i'm going to repeat the words act of obtaining buying goods and services from external sources which ensure that buyers receives goods services at the best possible price so this is the one definition of procurement then again we go for further uh, def uh, definition of that procurement is defined as the process of acquiring supplies through purchases from the manufacturers their agents like distributors or from private or public supplier so manufacturer has to produce their products then there are their outside agents then they go through the distributors <coughs> then they go for private or public supplies so the manufacturer sometime can sell his his or her his products direct to the consumer or sometime they through a middleman now purchase of medicine starts with the framing of buying policies and ends with receiving stocking and and it's not an easy job of purchasing of medicine so first you have to frames frames well rules fair policies according to that you have to purchase the medicines third third thing is that it involves the application of special skills and knowledge from both the professional and legal viewpoint so all the legal cover has to be covered when we are going to purchase so all the documentation has to be prepared before going to purchase drug medicine or whatever required in a hospital now it is a, you can see in this picture that what they are simply that tell you of use initial selection what type of going to selection then they are uh, going for quantification then they procure then after procurement they have to uh, storage of that drugs medicine then for go for distribution of these drugs now what is the objective why you are going to procure the reason the cause of objective of procurement is it primary purpose is to satisfy the customer need as i discussed before you that what it is satisfy the customer needs and further pay the right price save time avoid overlooking vital steps in the process minimize the risk of making a costly mistake so what you have to uh, purchase a uh, best thing on a good price then how many types of purchasing is there personal purchasing as yeah, you have discussed with that the personal purchasing then mercantile purchasing third institutionalized or government purchase personal purchasing in here you can say that you are, as i told you there are various uh, classes of hospitals or pharmacies a person who own his own pharmacy he can purchase whatever he wants according to his requirement mercantile purchasing will go for that purchases for personal use then they fall into this category second mercantile purchasing this type of purchasing is done for resale and facilitated by middlemen so mostly the wholesaler the other agent they have to purchase from the manufacturers and then they have to sell to various pharmacies or hospitals institutionalized or government purchasing it's very important over here that 
under this group, government agencies, institutions who buy for public utilities, they form an important group of purchases because they purchase it in bulk. And government institutions, hospitals, they purchase it in bulk. Now, the, the method of how we procure, generally we can discuss that <clears throat> direct purchase from the manufacturer of their regional center. So you can direct go to the manufacturer site and then you can purchase from that. Or direct purchase from wholesaler and stockist. You can purchase from wholesaler and stockist to purchase from direct jobbers. Sometimes the people who have to place their racks, you have, may have seen in where general stores, the, play, the drugs are placed in the racks and then you have to, they purchase cotton, whatever that's sold, that the shopkeeper has to pay according to that. Purchase through bids. Now in, most, in, in, in private hospitals or in government hospitals, the purchase can be through open tenders, restricted tenders, quotation invitation. So these are various definitions of various purchases. This in big hospitals, they may purchase accordingly or big institutions, wherever they have to procure something, they do like that. Open tenders, restricted tenders, quotation invitations. The fifth one is purchase through competitive negotiation. So you can call the different sellers and negotiate the rates. Purchasing through competitive negotiation. Six is purchase through contract. Now sometimes you have to fix, you have to call the, the various tenders and then you have to come in contract with. There may be fixed quantity contract, running contract, rate contract. Now sometimes you have to give you have to purchase a lump sum quantity, make so 10, uh, 1 million, whatever you have to fix. Then you have to purchase that is a fixed quantity contract. Running contracts, whatever you are going to give the demand, and then you have to purchase. Suppose you need 100 uh, capsules, you send a contract, and then you have to purchase according to that. That's a running contract. Rate contract, sometimes you fix the rate of some goods, some drugs over there. And then according to that, we have to purchase. Local purchase. If in case of emergency, what we have to do, we have to go for local purchase. You fix some uh, seller and you have to purchase according to that. We have fixed a rate with that seller or pharmacy, whatever from our wholesaler. So that's the local purchase. In case of emergency, you have to purchase local purchase card. It's in-house manufacture of medicine in the hospital sometime, as I told you. In, in, in certain hospitals, they can manufacture their own medicines. So that can be then you have to send to the hospital, manufacture and supply to the hospital over there. As I told you, this is definitely any contract means contract for the supply of an approximate quantity of items at a specific price during a certain period. Rate contracts means that agreement for supply of goods, materials between owner and vendor for a fixed period of time. Then procurement chain. First, you can say identify what you want to go to purchase. You identify the requirement, then write a specific which, what kind of, what type of, what thing you going to purchase. Then choose a procurement method. As I've told you, I've given you various methods regarding which method you are going to purchase among these eight methods you are going to purchase through which method. Choose a procurement method. Then prepare solicited document, legal documents, bid preparation, whatever you need, prepare solicitation documents according to documents because everything has to be recorded, everything has to be done. So then we have to prepare the document, then call the tenders, see clar clarify and close offers. So sometimes you have to call, as I told you, various tenders, you have to call that for that and close and offers. You receive the offers. Then evaluate the offers. Which type of offer is, is, is acceptable to you? What are the dates acceptable, accept, acceptable to you? Then award the contract. Then you award the contract. And according to that, then uh, after award the contract, sometimes you can negotiate the contract. Sometimes because you are going to purchase according to your need and according to your price. So you have to neg negotiate the contract, then manage the contract, then sign the contract, then evaluate the procurement, then you have to receive, then you have to evaluate the 
procurement and purchase according to is it clear over there i think then we go for further quantifying drug requirements how you quantify how to how to assess how to measure the what how much quantity you are going to purchase for that prepare an action plan for quantification using centralized or decentralized quantification using manual of computerized method of quantification estimating the time required developing the drug list estimating total procurement cost so what in first preparing an action plan for how you are going to prepare quantification through the various committees various um, requirements you can obtain from various department because when you are going to purchase different type of uh, goods suppose drug medicine you need a different quantification for uh, lab uh, reagents for disposable so every have uh, item have a different quantification so first we have to prepare quantification then whether it has used centralized or this and whether that main uh, the, the, there may be some head office and they have their branches so it is purchased through head office or through various branches so you the centralizer this and means centralized means main head office has to purchase or decentralized means that local office can purchase in in, in our uh, uh, government said the there is a centralized purchased the central government health department purchase directly and then they have to allow the concerned hospitals that they can purchase according to that rates using manual or computerized method of quantification whatever you can do that estimating time period how much time is required for such procurement developing the drug list what type of formulary is to be prepared estimating total procurement cost how much that these goods cost so sometime what we do <coughs> procurement limited to formula list so just you have to procure amount that formula list order quantities based on reliable estimate of actual needs so then you order for that quantities reliable payment and good finance management transparency and treatment procedures product quality assurance regular reporting on procurement performance you have to do a good pharmaceutical procurement practices system purchasing system a method used by organization to buy products and services a purchase system manage the entire acquisition process for, from acquisition to purchase orders to product receipt to payment purchasing systems are a key component of effective inventory management and that they monitor existing stock and help companies determine what to buy how much to buy and when to buy so you have to adopt a purchasing system according to which method you are going to purchase so what difference between procurement and purchasing procurement is the overall function that describes the activities and processes to acquire goods and services the total procedure as i told you given you last uh, previous slides that total function of purchasing is known as a procurement and distinct from purchasing procurement was the activities involved in establishing fundamental requirements sourcing activities such as market research and vendor evaluation and negotiation of contracts it can also includes the purchasing activities required to order and receive goods that whole procedure is known as procurement purchasing refer to the process of ordering and receiving goods and services it is subset of the wider procurement process so in purchasing yet when that uh, that tender process has been finalized then they are going to order for purchasing of drugs and the services so both are their purchasing is a subset of that procure, procurement method <coughs> now function of purchasing what they formulating effective buying policies determining the demand and desires of the patrons source of supply determining the terms of purchase receiving marking and stocking merchandise transferring the title of the goods formulating effective buying policies there are two considerations in formulating buying policies one is that 
buying policies should be compatible with the general objective of pharmacy, which in turn are determined by the type of pharmacy and location. So there may be pharmaceutical center, there may be traditional pharmacy, there's super drug stores. So location, if the pharmacy is located in an area where there are few targeted customers, then its buying policy will vary. So it depends upon the, where the pharmacy is situated. If a simple community pharmacy, so it depends upon the So, it's a simple small pharmacy, so they have purchased according to need of that area. What type of patients are there? What type of drugs are prescribed by the doctor over there? Then traditional pharmacy. Similarly, there's the pharmaceutical center over there. So they have to formulate according to the need of that pharmacies over there. It's a primary determined by prescriber's preference. So wherever sometimes the doctor has to prescribe in that area. So it also takes over the prescriber's preference. Whatever they going to prescribe, the pharmacy of that area has to purchase accordingly. The buying policy should affect reflect basic change of the demographic factors. What type of people living over there? Older people are more, they need different type of drugs. Younger families are there, they need different type of drugs. So according to the need of that people, they are going to purchase. They are going to stock the drug and medicines over there. Term of purchase. So when someone is going to purchase, there are different type of discounts are offered. Trade discount, quantity discount, cash discount, serial discounts. So what's a trade discount? is given to a firm for performing a level of set of marketing. So when there is a pharmacy, mostly there is a trade price. So that trade price may be 15% less than that one of, there is a retail price and there is a trade price. Retail price on which they are going to sell in a pharmacy. Trade price, the pharmacy purchase on that price. So mostly the difference between is 15 to 20% for the trade price. So wholesaler has to, sell or uh, uh, that uh, distribute a sell to the pharmacy, they give a trade discount that may be sometimes 50%, sometimes 20%. But then sometimes they give pharmacy to 30 to 50% discount. They are going to sell that drugs from manufacturer or from wholesaler to a pharmacy. Then suppose I'm going to tell example, company A sells 100 tablets at retail price of rupees 1000, Trade for company is 15% and trade discount wholesaler is 5%. So that means that manufacturers selling 20% to that one wholesaler, then wholesaler pass on more 15% to a pharmacy of that trade discount. Then quantity discount. What happens then sometimes if you are going to smaller quantity, the rate will, uh, price will be different. Sometimes you're going to purchase more quantity. They're supposed in thousands and, and, and millions that it, it, uh, that is a quantity discount. If you are going to purchase more uh, uh, drugs, that discount will be more. If you are going to purchase less, the discount will be less. So that is known as quantity discount. Sometimes you are going to purchase in a uh, number in millions. The quantity rate will be different. In case you are purchasing a smaller number of the goods, that, that rate will be price will be different. So that is known as quantity discount. The, the farm said a trade discount of 15% from 1,000 product and up in 850. Then he separately detect quantity, quality discount 5% from previous. So sometime if he has taken more quantity, he may receive a more discounts. Cash discount. So sometime you are going to purchase on uh, cash, they can further give a discount over there and given to the buyer for payment within a certain period of time. The discount normally one to two percent of the so they can give more discount when you're going to be purchasing on cash purchasing. A buyer will get two percent discount if he pays within 10 days after 10 days, no discount will be up. So you have aware of that. Sometimes you're going to purchase, the price will be different. Sometimes you are payment, delayed payment, the price will be different. Serial discount. 
Sea discount typically maintains a series of all discounts, trade discounts, cash discounts. So each discount is calculated and then multiplied by the net amount of products with retail price. So this all the discount has to be calculated is done by multiple steps over that. That is a serial discount. Now what receiving marketing and stocking goods? Receiving the orders material at the right time is most important for an organization. Because when, when you need some drugs at the right time, that is more important. Invoices received from suppliers are checked and verified with order specification. Now, whatever the material is received, it has to follow according to invoices. Invoices should be checked for the appropriate quality and quantity of the merchandise. So whenever you receive some stock, so invoice has to be compared with the quantities and qualities are demanded over there. After check goods should be marked properly and include the cost code, the source, the date, and quantity in this. Nowadays, you have to put marked properly cost codes, the source, the date, and because you have to uh, use uh, that one scanner for selling over there. So you have to put cost code, source, whatever you place over that one on uh, that product. Hundred of cost codes among them, so, so you have to put some cost codes also. Nowadays, the uh, selling is computerized, so you have to apply some scanner so you can have such type of cost codes over there. Now then, transfer the title of goods, including payment in time, to receive maximum discount. A transfer of title to goods basically means the transfer of the ownership of the goods from the supplier to the purchaser. If the farm says receives merchandise in good conditions through freight, prepaid, prepaid, the goods become his response. responsibility. It means if he has paid earlier to that, when he received the stock, he has paid the all amount, means he is now the owner of that drugs. However, if the goods are delivered in consignment, they remain the property of the supplier, the farmer has to pay for only the amount he sells. So sometimes they have paid later on. So that is their payment. So that stocks remain the consignments, whatever he sells, that is his. That is his, his ownership over there. So what the last one, buyer and seller should strive for a mutually beneficial relationship. Many different types of purchasing activities, developing a policies and procedures, manual is important. Evaluating supplies and maintaining ethical standard key for success. 